guys, what's going on? It's TMJ in the USA. Season two, episode eight, Nebosh. Once again, just surf up early. Hitting six, that morning hit, six baby. A, 6 a.m. in the Bellagio Fitness Facility. <laughs> Joe's favorite fitness facility at the present point in time. <laughs> Doing his uh, morning hit. <laughs> this is a tough cardio session, man. I by this point I was just over the four hours of sleep a night, getting up, having to do hit cardio in the morning. But the thing but is, is we walk around all day, like seven hours a day. Yeah, it's like you're doing list cardio all day, and then on top of that, you do the hit. So that's why I haven't been doing hit. I just been on my list cardio. So then we uh, finished list. We went and got to went to Whole Foods on Las Vegas Boulevard. That's it. We were running a little bit late, man. We actually woke up a little bit late this morning because we didn't get to bed till damn near four o'clock in the morning after the pre-judging, did we, Nebosh? We didn't. We had to be up early. We had meetings in the morning, man. So we ran a little bit late. So we actually went to Whole Foods, bought our meals for the day, and actually had breakfast there too. Yeah. As we were mentioning in the in the previous episode, in episode, episode seven, we said you could practically eat straight away at Whole Foods. And that's exactly what we did. I had in some kind of eight. I had some kind of turkey breast focaccia. And you smashed the hell out of it. You didn't even wait for me to start filming, man. Is it a focaccia or a sandwich? I don't know what they yeah. call it. A grilled sandwich. But I think it's a focaccia in Australia. And I had myself some proats with the no back cookie MTS weight. In the house. Then we made our way over to the Olympia for day number two. Day two of the expo, man. This is so this is Saturday of the expo. So the first day is Friday, which is kind of like the it's not really a trade day because it's open to everybody, but I mean, if people work on Friday, like most people work on Friday, they're not going to come on Friday. Most people going to drop in Saturday on this bitch, man. Saturday was probably another 30% busier. I was going to say another 50%. No, not that much. Oh, mate, there was a lot of people in there. It was yeah, shoulder to shoulder to shoulder. And what we thought we'd do this episode is for, for those of you uh, who aren't lucky enough to be able to come to the Olympia, which is one of the premier health and fitness, or probably, let's say supplement, it's mainly supplement, yeah. premier supplement expos in the world, man. We thought we'd just go around and show you guys kind of what it's about, man. So show you the people, show you the different sports. You can hear the, see here, there's a bunch of different sports going on. There's like some boxing going on. There's some wrestling going on. There was, what was this over here? Yeah, some, there there yeah. was some Borat commentator. Yeah, and he was talking. <laughs> I know, it's just, we don't know how it worked, but it was just it was like kettlebell. I think it was kettlebell lifting, yeah. it was called. Anyway, it was weird. All kinds of weird sports. And then obviously towards the back of the arena you got here, so a lot of, the, what a lot of people don't realize is the the two twelve pre judging, um, the Miss Figure, Men's Physique, yeah, all those kind of um, I wouldn't say smaller. There's two there's two arenas, right? So yeah. one arena is actually in the expo hall, which is what we're showing you right here, which is like standing room only, and there's a stage at the end of the expo hall, and that's where most of the judging takes place. Yeah. So right here, what we're seeing here is the women's physique, and this was actually the women's physique pre-judging and finals. Yeah. The men's physique pre-judging and finals takes place here, and then the pre-judging for everything else except for the men's bodybuilding takes place on that very stage, Nibosh. It does. And then the finals for those other divisions are at the Orleans Arena, which is where the pre-judging was in the previous episode. Just quickly while it's on the screen. And the finals is going quickly to be in the, this episode. While it's on the screen, check out the lineup for Rich Piana, 5% nutrition. Yeah, so this is the men. Obviously, there's some pretty high-profile people in the health and fitness industry at expos of this caliber, one of them being Rich Piana, and the lines just to meet these people, just to get their autograph, shake their hand, like go for hundreds and hundreds of meters. Yeah. It's just, want, just ridiculous. I just want to go back to the um to the stage, the competing stage. Of course. I think it's a bit unfortunate that guys like, for example, Steve Cook yes. in the men's physique. Yeah. Um Dana Lynn Bailey in the yeah. women's physique. Don't actually get to step on the arena Olympia arena stage. I agree. They don't actually compete at the Orleans. So what a lot of people won't realise is that little that stage there, which if people have been to FedEx or going to be the Arnold Classic Australia, for example. Yeah. How the stand is just in the corner there. Yeah. That's what it's going to be like. Well, that's what it's like at the Olympia. So they don't actually go and compete on the uh, the Olympia stage. Yeah. I mean, they put on the they put in the amount of hours of training and dieting, etc., as, as yeah. everyone else. But yeah. Yeah, that the final pre -judge, period pre judging final everything is all on the stage inside the expo. It's yeah. not actually at the New Orleans Arena. And the first time I saw that, I was surprised. And to be honest, it's a, it's almost a, a little bit. I wouldn't say degrading, but I mean these are these are the best athletes in the world. I mean, when, for those particular divisions, and they don't get to stand in front of ten thousand people. They get to stand in front of five hundred people. I and mean, when you, you get you get more people at a bloody state show in Australia, when you get the women's figure. The 212 Olympia and the men's men's Olympia. Yeah. All standing in front of 15,000 people. Yeah. And then you get 
the men's physique, women's physique, 212, pre-judging, Miss Olympia yeah. even, they're doing it in front of 500 people just but standing the, there. That's the way it is. And so we thought we'd do a bit of a tour and show you guys a few stands here as well. So you just saw the Muscle Farm stand, one of the most impressive stands. The Gifted Nutrition stand was just up there, Phil Heath's new supplement line. This is the BSN stand, man. This was a pretty cool looking stand, wasn't it, Nibosh? It was. They, the um, BSN stand was big, man. BSM was big and ON was absolutely massive as well. And yeah. a lot of the stands also had... Um, Quest stand was enormous. Quest stand was actually probably one of the biggest stands. It was like in three parts, man. I couldn't believe They it. had like a stand for the bars, a stand for the chips, and a, a stand, stand for, for the apparel. Uh, a, the Quest apparel. Mate, they, were, they had stands on stands on stands, you know what I'm saying? They, I, and I could not believe the amount of lineup that people, like, people for the Quest. Like, obviously... The O N stand to see like guys like Steve Cook and just go through there. Quest have no athletes, but but the <laughs> they stand was sell just massive. protein bars and protein chips. So here's the O N. So O N um, and A B B were both conjoined. Yeah, yeah, and the O N stand. But I, I'm a big fan of those big screens that I had there as well, man. Yeah, those were cool. Jesus, like, Jesus boy, Steve Cook. Massive TV screens going on with different product promos and all that kind of stuff going on. But very impressive stands. I mean. One of the, the most impressive parts of the Olympia Expo is the amount of time and effort that the exhibitors actually go into their, put into their booths, man. It's mm. just on another level. This is pretty cool. So this was a Hyde energy shot. So what you do is it's just Pro a- Pro-sups, Mr. Hyde. It's just a- um, it's Pre-workout. Just, just a container, pop the lid in, which disperses the powder into- yeah. I mean, it's not new technology, but it's new yeah. technology in the supplement world. Well, it's a ready to drink pre-workout. And here we're at Quest. Coming soon to Team Massive Joe's vending machine near you. We spoke to a, <laughs> we spoke to a, lot, of, uh, a lot of vendors, and the main thing they said was people were just there for the free shit. Yeah. And, and this uh, is a prime example yeah, of it right here. It's like seagulls. Yeah, so this was towards the end of Saturday. So this is the end of the expo. There's about an hour left. So a lot of exhibitors, Quest being one of them, obviously start throwing out a lot of their overflow stock just so they can get rid of it. So Quest start bombing Quest bars into the crowd like Quest bars are going out of fashion. The funny and thing the is, seagulls come for walking knee bars. The funny thing was, it, hit, it was hitting people in the head though. And speaking of seagulls, what is Nebosh doing? Well, Nebosh grabbed himself four Quest bars. Miles, didn't I'm he? Hoping that, I think it was a few more than four, let's be honest. I think you're up there no, like bloody Tony Modra. And then Neon Sports <laughs> Speckies. And then Neon Sports starts lobbing t-shirts. So oh, I said, oh, I'm getting out of the way. Unbelievable. So of course we had to stop for our meals during the day. You guys saw us go to Whole Foods to start Whole Foods to start off the day. So we got ourselves a bunch of meals. Here we got uh, we got some pretty cool like grilled chicken satays on. On deck, Nibosh. Yeah, with a bit of seasoning on there. Yeah, a little bit of herbs. You got a little bit of oil on yours, man. I had them dry salad and, oh, hold on. Now, there's a couple of the Quest bars. Peanut butter and jelly. And, and the, there's the rest of the Quest few, bars. Let's just say the cookies and cream, cream bars are gone to The them. funniest thing is you're such a consumer at heart. You don't have to go <laughs> and grab Quest bars. You just have to go up, tell people who you are, and they'll give you a box for free. But Nevos is there, bloody jumping up, grabbing I like Quest to, bars. I like to stay consistent to my roots. Oh, and who's this, Nebosh? It's a uh, young Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. So Arnold dropped in actually as the expo was closing. So 5 p.m. on Saturday, Arnold walks in. The diehard fans that were hanging around. No one knew he was coming, by the way. Yeah. He just decided to roll up in his bitch, man. Go, f*** the Olympia. If you can see I'm that, Arnold. There I'm going to come in here. And there was a line bigger than you can imagine on the other side of the muscle farm booth. Those who can't spot him, there he is in the white shirt if you're yeah. blind or... Yeah, Something. wherever Arnold goes, mate, a, a crowd will follow. And obviously, through the Arnold series affiliated with Muscle Farm, that's what he was doing with the, the line Muscle was at Farm least, booth. The line was at least 500 metres just to see Arnold. Well, apparently, the, the fire warden ended up kicking Arnold out because the line was too long. They needed to get people out there for health and safety reasons. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it. I think you made that up. That's the story Arnold put on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I follow Arnold on Instagram. You should too. I think it's at Arnold Schwarzenegger. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> so here we are leaving the expo on the way to the New Orleans. No, we're on the way to Protein House. Yeah, we had to go get ourselves some games. We actually ran out of food. We didn't buy enough food from Whole Foods and we had a bit of time in between the finishing of the expo, which finished at five. By the time we got out of that bitch, it was about six. And the start of the finals, which started at seven, which is at the Orleans that you're seeing now, which is actually on the other side of Las Vegas. So the expo is on the opposite side of Vegas to yeah. the New Orleans Center. Let's be honest, like, uh, let's be honest, Nebosh, for the viewers at home. Oh, no. The organization it's of terrible. the Olympia is 
horrible. I don't know why they wouldn't have the expo and the you're show in, Las, in the same place. You're in Las Vegas. And put, it, have, and put it somewhere on the strip. Don't put it a 15 minute drive from the strip. It's unbelievable. You have multiple venues that can hold a an exhibition and uh, have an arena for a show, but you've gone and split them up and made people drive all over the damn place. It's horrible. It's bloody Las Vegas. There's shows everywhere. Anyway, so we got ourselves to the finals, man. Saturday night, 7 p.m. And we got hooked a f- uh, did we not need Vosh? Luckily, we know some people who know some people. Yeah. We get very well taken care of when we go to the Olympia, man. We got some very good business relations. And uh, let's just say that Americans know how to take care of their customers. So, man. Last Hooked us up with the suite. Last year, we were down in the in the cattle class. But we this were. time, we've, uh, we hooked us up in the suite. In the VIP suite, man. Free drinks. Free, free food. food that Joe couldn't eat. <laughs> like always <laughs> and uh yeah me and Seth sat down in the front row of the suite look, yeah it looking, was awesome man. looking down over the crowd yeah it was awesome it was fantastic we got very well taken care of man and i um, yeah it, it, the the this is and this gives you a good view of the kind of arena and the size of the arena that the men's finals as opposed to like the men's physique finals is held in yeah. so this is a men's bodybuilding finals man packed out orleans arena how many people you reckon up in there nebosh 20000 I wouldn't say 12, I reckon probably 15 max. 15, 20. It's a damn big arena. And there was definitely a lot of people there. It was packed out. <laughs> anyway, the way they introduced the show, for those of you that are unaware, this is the 50th Olympia. So the 50th anniversary of Joe Weider's Olympia. So they had all of the living past Olympia champions, obviously Arnold being a seven-time Mr. Olympia champion. Who is there on screen at the moment. Up there, just giving a little bit of an introductory to the show. And yeah. then the show started, mate. So you had Ronnie. Men's finals. Boom. Ronnie, you had Jay. Yeah, up in there. Lee Haney was there. Arnold was there. All of the, the past Olympia winners who are still alive were there. It and, was awesome. And man. not competing, obviously. It was great. To, it was great to be. Yeah, obviously not competing. Dexter wasn't up there and Phil wasn't up there because they're competing in his bitch, man. Anyway, this is really cool, man. So this is how the show started. And what we're going to do here, guys, is we actually took a bunch of footage of, of posing routines and then of the men's finals. Guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of TMJ in the USA, where we come and to and from new. Massivejoes.com. Stay.